offense first, okay? Offense first on A. We're going to do offense on B. And then we are going to do defending and then defending on both sides and then retaking sites. And then we're also going to do jet jet plays and where I think we should where I think uh, you should play defensively and the best places to push with breach and how to push and everything. All right. Okay. So usually what I usually tell my team to do is I, I like to split. I, I like to split A. So you'll have some guys go this right way there. and then some right must go this way. But like three A main, I would say two art. Three A main, two art. And then if you have like a neon, if you have a neon or like a phoenix or a jet, or I mean, not, not jet, jet, jet goes main, but a, Pheno a phoenix, Reyna, neon, and any of those guys or chamber or something, they, they go up mid, right? They go up mid to art. And what you do right when the round starts, they run up. They, 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 I'll tell them to throw a stun right or a flash or anything right, right here. There. And then right when they do that, I'll charge up my stun right here and I'll stun all of art. Okay. Usually people that like to play behind this box here, they'll play behind this box here. And then, so you stun all of this and then your teammate and then your, 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 your two teammates can run in and they can clear um, whatever they need to clear here, clear art, push up, get, get smokes down here. And then, and then flank this way as the rest of us are coming along this side. So you want to just stun this here. Round starts, your teammates run up, and you stun this. Boom. Stun all this here. Go around, take control of this. And then, um, so if you don't have your ults, usually what I would do is I would just pull my flash, and I'll just probably just flash this close right corner there. or flash back right site. There. This close corner, back site, everything else should be smoked off. So you either just flash here, close, and then back site, and you should be good. And with your aftershock, um, I'll never I'll never really aftershock close here unless I know someone's unless I know someone's here. But usually what I do is I'll, I'll aftershock uh, back here. Usually someone is playing there and it's going to force them to come out and you kill them. Or you can aftershock over here. You aftershock right here. And then this forces the... They, they have nowhere to hide here. They have nowhere to hide. If you place it correctly, um, you should force them to run all the way out here. Make sure that, make sure there's no space in that cover right there. Boom, go like that. And then it's going to force this guy to come out here. It's going to force them to come out here and peek. And then you can literally just like spray this corner or um, he's gonna come out and then you, you guys can kill him. That was really, really good. Really good aftershock. It's okay. And if you have your ulti, obviously, uh, you just come over here. Just ulti like this. And then you guys just run in. And then if you want to be aggressive, if you want to be aggressive after you, after you ulti, um, you could, you, you can aftershock this side. Because after you ulti all of this, your team should run in and then clear everything. Um, so sometimes I'll use my aftershock aggressively and I'll go right here. Right? This is smoked up and stuff. And then I'll I'll talk like that, and then I'll run through, and I'll flash like this, and, and, then, and then I'll kill anyone that's that's over here playing art. If you guys all went main and the art guys like like died or something, or the art guys weren't able to get through, then uh, you can do an aggressive play like that. If you don't want to be aggressive and you want to just be smart, um, I usually will just sit back here uh, w w with the rest of my flashes, and, and then I'll just play post plant. Team teammate plants here, just play post plant here with your flashes and stuff. Um, and yeah, yeah, that, I think that's pretty much everything for offense on A. All right, now let's go over to B side. Um, usually Chamber will, will play like here and, and he'll try and get a pick here. Um, what you could do is, is you can either just flash this corner, flash this corner, um, or you could stun, right there. you could stun this right here. Right there. So stun this corner right here, um, to get the Chamber out. If you know he's like playing aggressive a lot. Um, and, and you also have your aftershock for this corner and this corner. I don't really like to use it here though. I, I'd rather use my aftershock for screens. So for aftershock, I usually always just throw with screens here. But um, I usually just go like this, just to clear this out real quick. So, so that's always clear. That should be always cleared for your team. And very important thing, when you're planting the bomb, don't plant over here in this corner. This this plant is really bad because people long, they can't they can't um, play post plant because they can't see the bomb and, and the enemy team can just defuse it. So. You should try your best if you can to try and get over here and plant the bomb or somewhere you know like somewhere over here plant the bomb if you can um you do get spammed and stuff but but if you can get here and, and and get the bomb down you could you could just go over here and just play post plant you get the bomb down right here and just play post plant with your flashes and all your abilities and everything and then you should be pretty good oh, if you have your ulti you got you want to go outside you just ulti like this it's not really like a lineup or whatever you know you just ulti like this those like this to go through um for hulls if this guy hulls and, and you have a jet on your team or neon or anything um you, you could flash dash hulls back here if you want you can flash here 
and, and then have the jet or whatever you know dash up and then and then, and then clear halls and clear all this out for you guys you you could you, you could play back here with your flashes and your abilities but i don't know it, it doesn't really, it doesn't really ever feel like it's that good i feel like playing back here long is the best planning here and then playing back here with your abilities is probably the best okay all right okay and then okay let's go to defense we're going to defense side now and um okay i think i i like to play you, you honestly you could play a or b but for me personally i think i like to play a more i like to play a more i think it's easier to hold a it's easier to hold a and it's easier to reach it's easier to hold a for breach than than b is and i, I think it's easier to retake on b with breach um, on defense, I usually like to play A. I like to play A, and so usually what I'll do is I'll walk up here, and if I hear anything, uh, if I hear anything, you can either just back off if there's a lot of them. Um, if you're playing with your teammate and your teammate's here, you could flash for him, right? You could flash for him, and, and you could you could aftershock this cubby right here. You could flash for him, aftershock this cubby, aftershock, stun for your stun for him and stuff. If you want to be aggressive uh, with your teammate, and then and, and fight them here. Flash out. Um, if there's a lot of them and you don't want to fight them, you can just back off. And I'll usually back off and, and I'll come back over here. I'll, I'll come back over here, back uh, dugout. And uh, when they're coming in, when they're running in, coming in, you just use your abilities back here. Your stun, your fl your flashes, you know, your aftershock. You use everything back here. And uh, so, so they start running in. You stun them. And then they're running out. And you could kill them. You kill them as they're coming out using your abilities. And that's it. They're running in right here. You can throw a flash right here. Because when they're running out, let's see, when they're running out, a flash is like thrown right here, they, 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 or, or right here right on this there. wall. You can really like destroy them just sitting back here and using your abilities. It's really, really strong. Or even, or even if you just come right here, right there. Um, they usually throw a lot of stuff here. It's dangerous because they throw like raised nades, they, they suck you off. They do everything back here. Um, but you can, and you can use your stun right here like this. And you can peek out here, there's usually people here stunned, and you can just kill them like that. And then, um, and a lot of times they'll be forced in this corner. Right there. And you can always aftershock this corner too. And, and this aftershocking this corner will force people to come out. You, you'll see them. You'll see them running into this corner after you stun them. You can aftershock them and then throw another flash or just fight them. Um, but playing back here is kind of dangerous because they throw a lot of stuff. It's a lot easier to just play like back over here, stun, flash, do whatever you got to do, and just and, and just fight them here. And also, if you didn't, if you didn't know already, um. Right you can spam this right here. So, like, they'll, they'll go, and then when they go to go plant, you go like that and just spam it, and then and then you, you'll, you'll get kills a lot like this. You just sit back here, they, they start planting. You just spam spam the living hell out of it. And then and then you'll you'll kill the planter right here. And then they're going to be pushing you, trying to kill you and stuff. Uh, you just got to be ready for that. You, have move, you get killed like this. Aftershocker right here, you know? Combo them. Swing out. Do whatever you got to do. It, it, also, right here, this is also spammable. You spam this too. Right there. Spam the wall. Um, so there's a lot of spammable spots here. If you have your ulti, I, I, I definitely would say to just either back off or just use it as they're coming in. Um, or you could or you could just back off and then retake with your team. So I got to retake with your team and use your ulti. And then, um, and then spam your abilities over here while your teammate is defusing. So you'd ulti, you guys retake, and then, and then it's it's really important to, to tell your team to defuse, and then your team defuses, and then you spam your abilities, and then just let your teammate defuse. Your team's defusing. Aftershock, you know, buy time, buy time, buy time. Flash them, stun them, do whatever you gotta do while your teammate's defusing. Let's say you guys win pistol. Let's say you guys win pistol. Okay, this is important. Let's say you guys win pistol, and um, and then the next round, you guys all buy specters, buy specters, you know, buy whatever you guys want, and then they buy vandals and stuff, right? They all buy vandals. So when that happens and they all buy their vandals, you guys have specters. It's it's very good to to push them and try and make a play because you, you guys are on trash guns and they're all on vandals and phantoms. And a lot of times you can predict them and and you run over to B with your jet or with your neon and then you guys run and you guys flash dash uh, this right here. You can predict them like if they if they go A multiple times or mid all the times. You, you could be like, okay, they're probably gonna go B now. And then um, try and predict them on a good rounds where, where, where it's your guys' save and their guys' buy. And then you guys run up. You run up, round starts, run up. You just flash this. Stun. 
they're all going to be stunned and flashed here. Kill whoever's here. Keep running up. Flash again. And this run just kill everyone. Alright, hello. I think yeah. you should go like closer, go, go, go. but that's fine. Okay, yeah, 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 dead. Oh, it worked. Oh, oh, One more, more. It is what it own. is, guys. It is what it is. There goes their buy round. And I highly recommend you guys do that. Um, they guys should do that. Like you, you should do that. And then after you guys do that, right? After you guys destroy them and do that, we like to push this right after. Okay. So if we have a brimstone or, or an omen or something, we'll, we'll tell him to smoke this, right, there. right? So after we do that play, we kill their whole team. We'll tell him to smoke this, and then we'll push this right together. There. So we'll, we'll run out door, or I'll tell him to run out door. He'll run out, and I immediately stun this, okay? I immediately stun this. Everyone here is stunned. He's running out this way to go and fight these guys, and everyone here is stunned. And then I, I, I could flash this I could flash this corner and stuff for him as he's fighting. Okay? It's not going to flash him. It's not going to flash him because I'm, I'm flashing... Um, I'm flashing really deep. Okay, I'm flashing deep in this corner. So, anyone, anyone that's here, he's fighting. It's gonna pop a flash right here for him, and then he can continue going and continue killing everybody. So that's really, really strong. I, I like to do that a lot. You, you do that, and then you push here, and then, and then after you have your ulti because you just destroyed everybody, and then you can run over to A. I, I, I love running around, running on the map, and just predicting. That's very important. You run around the map and, and just predict where they're at, predict where you think they're gonna be. And then, um, and then just use your abilities on them. I, I, I get called a stream sniper all the time because I just run around the map and I just, I just try and predict as best I can, and uh, and, and, and it works really well. It works really well. And, and then hopefully they come A. If they come A, you can use your ulti. You hear a lot of them running up, ulti, and you guys just like use all your abilities and just kill them all again. What I usually do is, is I'll stun holes right here. Right there. I'll, I'll have my teammates go up. Have my teammates go up. Um, I'll flash. Um, I'll flash maybe this. After I flash this, and my teammates try and get out. They run out. I'll stun all of halls for them. Look what it covers. It literally covers all of halls perfectly. See that? See how it covers it perfectly? Your teammates run out, stun halls, and then your teammates can run in and then and then kill whoever's uh, playing halls or uh, they'll run in here, take halls control, kill them there. And then um, wherever it's planted, you, you, you just throw flashes here. Throw flashes anywhere here. Will not Why they both look too red? Two to the cubby. Two to the left cubby. Nice. Good job. You guys are so good. Um, for your team to defuse. And then uh, a lot. Almost all the time, they're always playing here behind this pillar. And then just use your aftershock to push them up behind the pillar. So. So we're here, like, trying to fuse, you know, doing our thing. I I, I can throw a flash here, j just on the wall, simple. And then the yeah, Aftershock right here, simple, you know. And then it's going to force them to come out. And I usually don't fight them. I'll Aftershock. It forces them to run out, and then I flash them, because now they have no cover. I flash them because now they have no cover, and th th then you swing out after the second, after that flash, and then you kill them. Um, If they're on the site, if you know they're on site, you just ult, you just ult this. You just ult like this, if you know they're on site. But usually, they play post-plant. So, usually I would just save, you use my abilities to get on, and then you save my ulti for post. So, post plant, come over here, and just ulti all this for post. If you're forced to play on B because your teammates want to play A or whatever, you can, you can come over here and play B as well. Um, usually I'll play like right here, and we'll have a chamber trip, that's right here. And then, and then if they start coming up this way, through, through mid doors, and they're coming up towards B this way, um, you could just sit here with your stun, right? And they start running up. You just stun all of this whole line and swing out and kill whoever's here stunned. Spam this, kill whoever's here. Um, you get stunned and you can throw an aftershock here if you want. If, if you see them jump over, go over here, aftershock them. And then um, if they start coming in really hard and, and they go to go plant right here, you just aftershock the planter. Aftershock the planter here. Um, or just play retake. But yeah, for defense, I, I, I usually just play A. I usually just play back over here on A. And, uh, and yeah. I'm gonna push my doors together. Right when the round starts, I'd say you could go this way. Um, you can just throw a flash right here. 
usually there's a guy playing, you know, like over here or something, you know? You just throw a flash right here, and then it, it, it'll flash him off, and it'll flash anyone that's playing over here off. You flash that, and then you can go in through here, and then your, your team can break the chamber trip, or you can break the chamber trip, and then uh, you can use your stun for this, right right for there. this, and all this here. You just done for all that, and then it's gonna force whoever's here to get stunned. Your, your team can push up and force whoever's here to back off because they're also gonna get stunned. I usually like to do it right here to force them to not push us and just stop them from, from pushing you guys. Push them back, or you guys can push it, or you can push it, or you can aftershock this like that. And then they're gonna think that, that, that you guys are just that you're aftershocking it just to go this way to push, but you can um, go this way, you know, you clear this. Gap and stuff like this, you know, go through and, and you can actually could go through here and flash and, and then go kill this guy. I haven't done that too much. I, I've done I've done it before. Not too much, but um that that definitely could be good too. Okay. Alright, alright, enough talking. Video's long enough. Alright, that's it. Alright, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys um learned something from the video, hopefully. And you guys are able to take it in the flight and you guys are able to rank up. Um and also comment down below if you guys have any other good ideas that uh that maybe, maybe I missed or something. Maybe. Subscribe if you guys, if I help you guys out, if you guys liked, and uh, I'll see you guys live on Twitch and in the next video. All right, see you guys.